quick question. Are any of you one of those people who kiss their dog in the mouth? He looks so sweet, all right? But he be acting real suspect sometimes with his listening skills. Want to bring you guys something different? Hey! Welcome to my channel, Blossom D Embracing Me. It's me, Tiana, AKA Blossom D. I know what it is. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday. How about that? That sounds good. Transformation Tuesday. I know that's already used, but it's okay. I'm off to the side of the screen. Y'all can see because. I have something I'm showing you right here. Follow it. Hey, I wanted to come and bring you guys just a quick informational video on some things you wanna think about and consider when you are about to start your locks, period. I'm just saying. These are some of the things that I did to Figure out if this is really what I want to do or not. How I'm going to go about it. Am I even doing this right? So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you want to come back every week and watch another video. And also stop what you're doing, please, and click the subscribe button. Like and share. Oh. Don't forget to go back to my other videos and watch those too. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today, like I said, I'm bringing you a video with eight, specifically eight things that you do want to consider before you start your locks. These are some of the things that I considered. These are some of the things that I looked into and I just thought it would be nice to share because you might want to look into them too. Hi, Milo. I lost my car, guys. Babe, I need your muscles. <laughs> it fell underneath the chair. Oh. Milo! My dog ate my homework. <laughs> this just happened. My dog just ate my nose. Who does it? You see, that's why I showed y'all him and he showed his tail at this moment. I was like, oh, where's my little note card? Because I wanna make sure I touch all my eight points and I'm not rambling heckin' much like I'm right now. I am right now. Look, evidence. Whoever said getting a dog, that if y'all want me to talk about my dog for real and what I think about having a dog as a pet, drop a comment, let me know. And then I'll make that video. But this is like buying another kid. He's a puppy still, but <sighs> that was super irritating. I'm gonna have to go off the head. <laughs> that just really messed me up. <sighs> Number one, what you want to consider is, are you ready to go on a journey? Cause that's exactly what it is, a journey. A what? A journey. A what? A journey. Are you ready to go on a journey with your hair, with yourself, with your mind? That's what it's gonna be. So for me, I realized I was ready to go on a journey because I was tired of going on short journeys every other week doing my hair and every other week trying to find a new style and every other week having to comb it out. That's not even every other week. It's really like every day, especially when you're loose natural because your hair is curly. There's just a lot going on. Y'all see this? The ash is real. Whoever be having ashy hands, that's a problem in my in my my life because they be ashy. Like I put lotion on this morning. That's what happens when you wash your hands every five seconds because. My line of work deals with a lot of little children. I'm just saying. Make sure you're ready to go on a journey because a lot of people don't realize that it's a journey and it's something that's gonna take some time. Plain and simple. Are you ready to go on, not a short journey, but a long one? Number two, are you ready 
to have patience. That's like the biggest thing. Have patience because technically it's not gonna happen overnight unless you're trying to do Instalocks, which are using a tool to crochet your own personal hair to create locks like overnight. But that's not you going on a journey. That's not you appreciating what your hair is doing and the transformations that you as a person are gonna go through. Cause you're gonna go through some transformations. I'm just saying. Patience is a really, 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 really big thing. So have it, or this might not be for you. Number three. Hey, this, let me just show you. You see that? Look. What's that called? Frizz. That's what it's called. Frizz. Frizz better be your best friend. And if you don't want Frizz to be your best friend, then you don't want locks, period. Because this is one of the main things that you're going to have to go through. Now, I know a lot of other people may go through lint and how, you know, your locks pick up heck of lint and all of that. Me, personally, I haven't experienced that. Maybe I don't be rolling around on the ground or against certain things that cause lint to attract to your hair. I don't know. But this Frizz, though? It was a problem for me before I was um, doing locks, but now it's even more and I can't do nothing about it because I said I was ready to go on the journey and I said, I'm going to have patience, right? I said I was ready to go on the journey and I said I was ready to have some patience. So I said, I guess you better be ready to deal with the frizz. This is my frizz, some of it. But guess what, y'all? I have learned to embrace it. Y'all see that beauty? My hair is actually starting to do what it do quite faster than what I thought. And I am almost three months in, but I also do a couple of things that I don't think a lot of people who start locks thinking they could do, which is wet your hair every day, pretty much. Um, so you need to consider frizz because it better be your best friend because you're not gonna have those slick edges every day unless you want to have build up every day number four number four is simple simple who the heck is gonna start your locks who is it gonna be is it gonna be you or is it gonna be chicka say jenkins down at the corner local shop that's gonna do it. Who says they're a loctician? Or who says they're stylist, sorry. So that's something that you need to consider. Me personally, I said, I'm gonna start my own locks. It's quarantine right now. And why pay somebody else to do something that I can do? Like who don't know how to two strand twist your hair. And if you don't know how to, it's super easy to even learn. That's something you need to consider. Who is going to maintenance your hair? Who's going to start them and who's going to maintenance them? Are you going to be doing it? And if so, you need to get the learning. And if you're not going to be doing it, you need to find somebody that's going to be dedicated to do it. Or are you just going to probably be in a heap of trouble or end up doing it yourself anyway. Five. What? Five. What? Five. 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 Sorry, I just, sometimes I be doing that and I have like dance breaks all the time and I make music out of anything because that's what I do. Number five is moisturizing. So many people think that because you have lots, you know what, I'm even guilty. I even thought coming in, oh, I want lots because I'm tired of dealing with my hair, right? And I'm, I was that person that always switched their hair up, back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, I don't care to do that stuff anymore. But guess what? I got into this game, right? Of doing my own locks, keeping them up. And guess what I found out after the fact of researching? That yes, you need to moisturize your hair. Basically, when you moisturize your hair, you seal it with the oil of your choice. And there are several of them. 
technically you need like maybe some leave-in conditioner like a, a water-based leave-in conditioner um, or you're gonna have to open your pores with spraying it with water before oiling it so your pores can open up to receive the oils that you're putting in your hair things like that but um Moisturize. Moisturizing is very important. And in the beginning, I was wetting my hair all the time and um, it was drying and it was summer. So my hair was drying up and it was like, y'all, yeah, I don't even claim. It was like paper. <laughs> but since I've learned from that mistake, I moisturize very often. Real tip, not real. It's not even a tip. It's just, it's just like a real fact, real fact. These are my eyelashes, right? <clears throat> I know a lot of people be into all them fake eyelashes, but I be feeling like I got like shades on. I already can't see because I wear glasses and I need to see as much as possible. So, um, so what I do is actually put mascara on my eyelashes and just elongate, elongate them. I'm having a hard time pronouncing words today. Excuse me. Um, but. When you put mascara on your eyes, and I'm not like a person who wear makeup every day, um, your eyes start to water a little bit. That's what I was saying. I moisturize now, and my locks are like so soft. They so soft. They so soft. They as soft as my little dog, Milo, who once again ate my notes. Now see this. Eight, my notes. I think the next thing to consider is number six. Number six is the next thing. Number six is consider the fact that your hair is going to go through stages. There are quite a few stages. You're going to go through the stage of in your hair and you have the choice of locking your hair with two-strand twist. You have the choice of coil, finger coils or coiling your hair. The difference is two strand twists, two twists. That's how I started mine. Easiest way to start. Also, I picked that one over coils because of the simple fact that coils just, to me, don't look that well once they get old, like two strand twists do. So it was the preference. And the days go on, the frizz comes, and um, sometimes some people's hair can react looking like an afro. Or it can react just looking the same but because for me in my experience one thing that I did was constantly wet my hair because that was a tip that I got you wet your hair a lot it, it mats up more and that's essentially what locks are your hair matting up together hair it swells up and then it tightens it swells up and then it tightens and when it swells up it's called budding and budding looks like like that they get really poofy budding gets this is like my thickest lock y'all sidebar thickest lock why who knows the thing that your hair is gonna do is it's gonna shrink. Those the loose naturals so are you new? Shrinkage is real. Shrinkage, shrinkage is real. It is your hair appearing to be much shorter than what it is for all you who don't know. Because my hair was already kind of short, I didn't care. And I'm not dying for length right now because I'm enjoying the fact that I don't have to do my hair as much as I did for seven. And the last and final one is enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey not only with your hair, but enjoy the journey with, I think that was point number one, enjoy the journey. Are you ready to go on the journey? So I'm just bringing it back around full circle. Enjoy the journey, okay? Because at the end of the day, to enjoy the journey of you personally and how you may change because as women, especially African-American women, we all think our hair needs to look a certain way, be a certain way, do a certain thing when it just needs to be what it is. We're different. God created us all different. And the moment we realize 
and this goes for all people, that we need to stop looking and being and acting like other people and just being who we are and who we were called to be. Oh my gosh, life is so much grander, okay? It's so much better to know that, wow, I was created different and I don't need to be like anybody else. And it doesn't matter how I look if I don't look like them, but I'm happy with the way I look. Oh my goodness, I'm just saying. So many people that I've come across who are different and happy about their difference, being different, they're so content. So that's where I'm at. I'm just being content. And this is something that works for me. And the more I learn about locks and dreads, it's like, man, this is awesome. Yes, it does take maintenance, like all hair does. Short, long, thicker, or thin takes maintenance but it's it's a better journey than what I was on I could do my hair every two to three weeks rather than every other day yeah so thank you for sticking around and joining me on this roller coaster ride with my bitten up notes for my dog I hope you enjoyed it I hope you subscribe I hope you like I hope you share yeah I'm just doing some silly stuff Okay, because it's early and I need some tea and I need to get back to doing my work because this is a part-time hobby of mine that I love to do. <laughs> yes. Anyways, love you guys and I will see you next Tuesday here on Blossom D Embracing Me. See y'all. Have an awesome week. Bye, y'all. <laughs>